Here we are back in Mike Harris's class to pick up where we left off in the quizzing engine. So I'm going to go down to his course settings and click on question bank and I want to talk about what you do if you're going to create categories. So under question bank you click on categories and um, you can see that a lot of his categories actually are stored at the HHS science level so they could be used in any science course at Hopkins High School. So this is an example of a category, state standards variation within species. There's 11 questions in it right now and this is a description that was entered with all I guess the substandards. He just typed that in or pasted it from the web. Now um, this, the, this category is stored um, it has a parent category which is honors biology so this is how you create another um, category so what I would do if I were Mike is I'd scroll to the bottom and I would put in the name of another category so let's say I was going to do something called cells then I would want to choose the parent category and this is really important because this is going to determine what other course pages have access to the questions you put in this category. So in this case, I want to put this in the honors biology category. And I'm going to, if this is where he put all the substandards, you don't have to put anything there, but you can. It's not a required field. And I'm going to click add a category. So by default, where this is going to end up is underneath the parent. So somewhere down here you are going to notice that I have a category called cells right now with zero questions in it. These editing tools would be if you want to delete the category, if you want to update it, let's say you wanted to change the name or add a description, you can um, move it to the left, that means if you want to change its parent, or you could move it up or down in the list. So you can see, for example, that there are these formative assessment category here, and there's some subcategories. So formative assessments is the parent category for 6.1, 6.2, 6.3. I think the most important thing is to really think through the organization of your categories and your subcategories before you start creating questions, because I think um, in this case, Mike probably created these categories first, and then changed his mind later and really what he's doing now is he's decided to go by state standard and he's using these categories um, which you can always move a question out of an old category and into the new category if you decide to reorganize but it's a little pain a little bit of a pain to um, reorganize after the fact